Okay, welcome to Alfred's Rats tutorial on how to set up MIRC. This program is a little more advanced than SwiftKit. Um, it does involve knowing how to use IRC and having a registered NIC, uh, because I will not be explaining this in this video. So if you are new to IRC, I suggest using a different client. But if you have been using MIRC, uh, IRC for a while and you want to change your client to MIRC, this tutorial will help you do that. So you're going to open up your program. Um, if you, I'm going to include a download link in the description. Um, you can keep the program for 30 days without registering it, but otherwise it will cost you $20 if you want to actually register it uh, legitimately after using the trial, which is one month. Um, whether or not you want to buy this legitimately or find a crack or torrent it or something, that is completely up to you, but I am not going to show you how to um, pirate software in this video. Uh, if you know how to do it, great. Um, if not, just Google it. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's not that hard to figure out. Um, so pretty much, once you open it, uh, you want to come to this, and right here is information. You can add, you have to add your nickname, so I'm just going to add my nickname, which is Alfie. And uh, you don't necessarily need to put the real information here. You can if you want. It doesn't display it unless you want it to. It also depends on the server, but uh, this tutorial is mostly for Swift IRC, which will not show any of this information. Um, so yeah, pretty much once you have that done, just click OK. First, I'm going to show you how to set up highlights, which you're going to hit Alt and B at the same time. This window will show up um, highlights. You're going to want to click the Enable Highlights, Add, and then you're going to do um, the dollar sign me. Pretty much, this is the variable for your current nickname when you're connected, so uh, it, it'll cover any nickname. Um, then if you want to have it play sound, uh, beeping once is fine. Um, you can change the audio file to whatever you want by clicking this and then changing it. You don't want to set it to case sensitive or rejects. Uh, they're just not needed. Um, pretty much you're going to keep this on message because if you have it on nickname or both, uh, it highlights you when, just don't worry about it. Keep it on message. And then you can create your highlight color, whatever you want. I personally, I choose purple because it stands out and, you know, oh crap. Um, so every time somebody highlights you, that message will be in purple. Then you're just going to click OK on that and your highlights are set up. You can also add uh, whatever you want to highlight you. Pretty much what this will be is just any phrase that you wish uh, to be highlighted when it says. Uh, so yeah, pretty much you're going to have it like that. And then comes to your nick colors. This is um, the sidebar. Uh, it's going to have the nick colors. What you're going to do is you're going to enable the nick colors because I just I think it looks better like this. You're going to hit add, and then you're going to for operator you want to put um, red. Keep it as message in this box, and then uh, channel modes, and then just at the at symbol on MIRC and most other IRC clients equal equals operator in the channel. So yeah. And you're gonna click OK on that and then you're gonna hit uh modes and then you're gonna have the orange gold color for half op. And half operator is the percent symbol on MRC. And then you're also going to have for voice I just do blue and uh which is the plus symbol is voice for MRC. And then for nobody, you're going to keep it black, and which is going to be no mode. Oh, and also for the ignore feature, um, list ignore. So if you have someone on your ignore list, that'll keep them in whatever color you want. Um, personally, just put white, because then you won't even see their neck. Uh, okay. So then you hit OK. You're going to move it, actually you're going to move the ignore up to the top. You want it to have it exactly in this order, otherwise it'll look funky. If people have multiple modes where if they're ignored, it won't show up as ignored if this is not on top. Um, okay, so that's my ignore list. 
so pretty much that that sets up your nick colors and your highlights um to get onto swift irc you're going to hit alt and o at the same time and you're going to go to servers you have to find swift irc it's a pretty long list but um yeah there we go so you're pretty much it's alphabetized so you're just going to go to s and swift irc should be here uh, da, 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 da. Where is this? Swift IRC. Oh, right here. Then you're just going to open this folder, random server, it doesn't matter. And then click OK. And then once you've done that, you can click connect, which is this. You're just going to let it connect. Um, if your nickname is already, I'm already on a different client. Sorry about that, but uh, let's just put MIRC. User one two three. And there you go. Now you're connected. Uh, you can join channels like join core. See now you're successfully connected. Uh, all the nicks have their colors, and then um. So yeah, if you want to change the font, that's also easy. You're just going to go to view. Okay, that's cool. And then font. Hey, look, it's, they're telling me junk where that's nice. Um, if you want it to look like SwiftKit, uh, you can just go to Calibri, and then 9, and that is the exact same font SwiftIRC uses. But you can also load any kind of fonts you want into this or anything. Um, you're going to also want to set this as default, and then use it as default, and then click OK. So, yeah, pretty much. Now, yeah, one more thing. Uh, you're going to hit Alt and O one more time, and you're going to go to, I believe that it is your C and then options. You're going to en enable timestamp events. Pretty much, um, there is different formatting for this. What I like to use is I like to use the 12-hour system, so you're going to do this, and then another colon, and then two lowercase s's. And then if you want to add AM and PM, then, oh, whoops, uh, just do capital TT, so then it will just, and then from now on, you're, uh, you'll have timestamp things, so, uh, so see, now you have timestamps, 304 and 26 seconds p.m., there you go. Um, another useful thing is the scripts editor, if you know how to use scripts, great, um, you can edit scripts there, add scripts. Um, I will most likely add a, a list of useful scripts in the descriptions as well. So once you have that, you're going to go to script editor. And then um, you're usually going to use remotes for the ones that I'm going to post. They're going to definitely be remotes. So then you would just go to your remotes tab, paste it, uh, the text into here, click OK, and then you'll have all your notes. Uh, your scripts, which you'll be able to use. Um, other than that, have ha happy time on your C, I guess. And um, yeah, that's about it. If you, oh yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me.